Hello and welcome to this course on the fundamentals of aerosecond science and technology brought to you from the Indian Institute of Technology Madras and the Indian Institute of Technology Tirupati Bayas. Have you ever wondered what are the shortest events or pulses created by humankind? How long do these last? Is it a femtosecond, which is a millionth of a billionth of a second, or is this a thousand times shorter, that is on time scales of attoseconds? If we have indeed made such short events or light pulses, where can we find them? Is it a scientific laboratory, or is it present in devices for computing, communication, or handheld devices, or whatsoever? And if we have made them, how have we made them? And how do we measure? After all, these are the shortest events which humankind has made. With all this, if these are accessible to us, what can they be used and applied for? If you are curious about such questions, then here we present a course where you can join us to learn about how to think about the shortest pulses in the first place. How long do these last? Is their duration? in femtoseconds or attoseconds or even something else. How actually are these generated, the science and technology behind the generation and the measurement of these shortest events, as well as where do we apply these in science and technology. If you are curious about all this, then it pays to ask the question, after all, what is an attosecond? The prefix atto stands for one divided by 10 to the power 18. 10 to the power 18 is one followed by 18 zeros. So an attosecond is indeed an extremely short duration of time. To get a feel for it, consider the beat of the human heart, which is about one beat per second. Now, if we compare that to the age of the universe in seconds, which is 10 to the 18 seconds, then an attosecond is such a short duration of time that one heartbeat measured in attoseconds contains 10 to the 18 attoseconds, which is one followed by the same number of zeros as the age of the universe in seconds. This is indeed an extremely short duration of time and humankind, scientists and researchers have succeeded in producing repeatable, controllable light pulses of this duration. What can we do with these light pulses? With these light pulses, we can observe, measure and even control the dynamics of electrons in atoms, molecules or even condensed phase matter. It is therefore no surprise that the Nobel Prize in Physics for this year, 2023, was awarded to three pioneers in this field, Professor Anne Lullier, Professor Pierre Agostini and Professor Ferenc Krauss for developing experimental methods to generate attosecond pulses of light, which subsequently are applied for the study of electron dynamics in matter. But then, who should take a course like this on the fundamentals of attosecond physics? It's very much designed for a wide range of audience, be it an advanced undergrad or a master's student, or perhaps you are a research scholar or a young researcher who either works in a related field or even possibly has an introduction to this area. In principle, students at any of these levels with a background in physics, photonics, electrical engineering, EE or ECE, chemistry or even biology and computer science who are curious about this subject can give this course a chance to learn the fundamentals of aerosecond science and technology. We will take this course up all the way from basics and ramp you up so that you can become a part of the research that is currently being published in top journals such as Nature and Science. So join us in the FAST or the Atto world. See you there. There is plenty of time at the bottom to explore science and to go deep and figure out what this Atto world is all about.